hard curiosity where we try to find the best possible ways to make a good return on your investment in the sports card world. And we have two new releases out here in the college football world. We have Prism Draft Picks 2024 here on the left side, and we have Bowman University Chrome on the right. We have three blasters of each. I think uh, these running for around $30, and these for $25. We're gonna open three of each and see which one is better. I do think the Prism Draft is going to have the better, better chase in uh, Mr. Arch Manning, as well as Jalen Milrow. Um, but there are also some some guys that you can find here in Bowman University as well. So I'll start with a box of Bowman University. And then we'll jump and go back and forth and um, see how we do. So, Bowman U, you get seven packs and four cards per pack. And I believe in Prism Draft, you get 30 cards. It looks like, uh, I can't remember the format. Six packs, six packs per box, five cards per pack. So, here we go. Box number one, looking for Cam Ward, looking for, oh my gosh, did we get an orange? Well, we might be, might be looking insane here on, uh, on this one. Let's see if that's an orange, it could be a monster. Cam Ward, Dylan Gabriel, uh, are a couple of the top quarterbacks we're looking for, along with DJ Lagway. All right, so nice base there of Lagway, Will Johnson. Uh, Nico from Tennessee. <clears throat> Nico from Tennessee is another good one that we're looking for. Here's uh, one of his receivers, Squirrel White. Brand Singer on the pink, so you get about three of these pink lavas here. Uh, Jackson Dart on a base. Oops, there's a refractor. Not, don't know much about this guy. Plays for Hawaii. Oh man, we might have a big one coming up. Ashton Ginty is one of the biggest hits you can get. Is this him? Oh, man, it is. That's sick. All right. Ginty on the uh, 1955 throwback. That is a, a pretty nice one. It's just a base, but it's got to be probably around a $10 card, I would guess, right now. He's in huge demand with the Heisman Trophy coming up. Um, there's a second one of 1955. Got a guy named Brew. We have Luke. And we do have an orange for Louisville. Not an autograph. It is Colin Lacey, wide receiver, that I don't know much about. Cam Ward there on the, the last card. And so this was a really, really good box. Let's see. He's a senior, 5'10, 190. So. I mean, he had a had a pretty good year last year. I don't know much, don't know much about the guy, but we'll take an orange of a pretty solid receiver. And I'm guessing here in the early release uh, period, the number to 25. There's somebody from Louisville that probably wants that. So um, let's hop on over to Prism Draft now. Get a little back and forth going. Six packs here in these ones. And these are not, not that fun oh, to open. It's a little, a little more tedious here. So a lot of the uh, these prism cards are going to look similar to like the NFL ones. You have a chance at hitting like color blast and uh, some numbered, nice numbered cards. Um, should see a decent amount of parallels. So, like, I think the Prism, ooh, the Prism Draft, their version of the uh, like the pink lava is going to be, I think, like a purple or maybe a green. Looks like the green comes pretty frequently here. Golly, definitely harder to rip open. So, there's my six. Six packs of five, you can get silver prisms, all that fun stuff. So here we go, Arch Manning, let's find it. We're gonna have to find some 
some arch to to make money back here. You also get current NFL players in here as well. So we could find we could find rookies of <clears throat> of Jaden Daniels and some of the top top guys there. So we'll take a peek. See if we can't find anything good. Our first green is going to be Chris Jenkins, and I don't know much about him. Herbert here, we've got a student orientation of Blake Corum. So that's what the inserts look like there. Peyton Manning, here's our first purple wave, Drake London. So that's not gonna not gonna do anything for us. Jackson Dart on the prospect card so decent decent prospect card there sorry let's get that stuff moving Bo Nix on the rookie not bad so I don't know who that is Judkins Ohio State uh, Smith and Jigba we've got an instant impact of Lad McConkey so another insert there Cade Stover and all right definitely a worse box there. Box number two. There we go. First pink is a dude I don't recognize. Will Johnson on the pink. That's a pretty good one. One of the better defenders in uh, college football for sure. He'll be a high draft pick. We got Texas. Silas Bolden. I don't know anything about him. Lagway on the refractor with a maybe a nice like scratch through it. You can't feel the scratch, goodness, but that is that's a mess. Lagway is one of the bigger cards you can get for sure. There's Egbuka, Ohio State. Got Luther Burden. That's a nice one there on the 1955. He's gonna be a should be a first round draft pick as well. One of the better receivers. Path to glory there. Cool looking insert. And we're gonna have a purple coming up of the Hawaii QB to 399. So no orange this time. But still got a numbered card. The numbered cards have been coming about one every, I think, three boxes um, in our previous rips. So um, getting two out of the first two boxes is pretty pretty good if we're being honest. Um, a prison draft. 30 more cards. No sign of Arch Manning just yet. Let's see how we do. Alright. Tua. Neil Anderson on the purple. All right, so not a not a good start there. Another purple, purple wave. Eric All. Okay, don't know much about him. We haven't had any big rookies really, I and mean, then we had a bow next to base. He's packed for something else. Drake May, all right, that's a decent one. Green, Drake May. Caleb Downs, that's about a three, four dollar base card there. Drake May is a green prism, so a little more on the rare side for that. But I want to open these again, just because of how hard it is to get them. Just thinking open, all right, silver for rookie, but not the rookie we need. We could really use a silver for Daniels or Caleb Williams would be, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. <clears throat> There's a green coming. Gabriel. All right, that's a decent, decent one there. Dylan Gabriel. We could for sure take that. Could be a, I'm guessing maybe a ten dollar card, but it's tough, tough one. You know, Gabriel has cards coming from Bowman as well that that are he's actually in the oregon uniform people probably like that better instant impact julian saying that's another pretty big one so i think uh cam ward there to wrap it up 
Yeah, box number two, the battle, or round two definitely goes to the uh, prism draft. So I think we're sitting one to one as far as who won each battle. It's going to come down to one final box each. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Anytime you have any blasters, I think you're looking for. You're not going to get huge hits. Most likely, you're looking for cards that you can grade in volume, and and a lot of them might be base cards. Not so fair. But you know, you're talking cards that you can send in to grade. Uh, spend 20 bucks to grade them, and then you get them back if they get a PSA 10. They're worth 50, 60, 70 dollars, something like that. So we got a blue here. So this this is gonna be a pretty good box. West Virginia quarterback. The feed is a decent one there. Samuel Brown. Don't know much about him. Don't know much about that guy. Getting our pinks out of the way. Refractor of Eugene. Got an Mecca base. Oh, there we go. All right, that's a big one. So, been a good, been a good video for this guy. A little, little print line, but his cards are going for a decent amount, maybe the most out of anybody in here. So we got two, of, two of his, which is nice. And then we're gonna have a high stake. Mm -hmm. Give me Cardinal Tate. Oh, Brandon Innes. All right, we'll take that. Brandon Innes to one seventy-five on the blue. So, pretty. Pretty good box there. All right, it's gonna be tough, tough to beat. But if you get an Arch Manning and maybe one other decent card from Prism Draft, I think I would give Prism Draft the edge. It's probably gonna be Arch Manning or nothing, or a numbered rookie of like Jane Daniels. Like so, you got Jane Daniels, Caleb Williams. These are all. Um, these could all. Tip it over the edge here. Let's see. Let's see how we do. I like them both. Both you get the potential for autographs. See, I'm going to take points away for how ridiculous it is to unwrap these different drafts. Let's see how we do. Final box, we got 12, what is that? Oh, nothing. That just looked weird. I think we got blue, we might get a numbered card here from Prism Draft, which is pretty rare for being honest. Aaron Rodgers on the silver, okay, that's not gonna, not gonna cut it. As far as what we need, Xavier Worthy, Vince Young, Marvin Harrison on the green, okay, that's, that's not bad, but not, uh, Marv's not doing crazy things yet in the NFL, so his cards aren't like super, super valuable. Let's see if we can't get some kind of a monster here. Sam Laporta, not a rookie card, so not gonna be worth a ton. JJ McCarthy's rookies are decent, even the base. All right, we do have a blue. We do have a blue. Utes, Utah. Ugh. Goodness, is that a lineman? A rookie lineman to 89. Why? <laughs> Why? We don't need rookie linemen. Don't even put them in here. Penix. Milro. All right, that's decent. Bernie Kosar was our last shot. And then uh, Julian Sand. So a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of cards that are like pretty good. Hmm, boy, it's honestly pretty even. You know, the base cards, like that one's going to be decent. Milro, decent. Oh, man. It's kind of tough. Kind of tough. Lagway. Pretty equal, you know, I'll be honest. I, you almost can't go wrong because some of the, some players have uh, 
you can find in both. But like, you know, if you really, if you want to find Arch Manning and Quinn Ewers, like you, you got to get Prison Draft. And if you want to find, uh, you know, the like Ohio State Buckeyes or, um, you know, Nico autographs, things like that uh, from Tennessee, Ashton Ginty autographs, you got to come here to Bowman University. So it is what it is. You just kind of de got to decide your preference. I think both are decent for in the 25 to 30 dollar range you can have some fun you'll find some players that you like um yeah not too bad not too bad i highly recommend i'd, I'd say both of these but yeah until next time stay curious <laughs>